Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to talk about Shank's skills in depth. We're going to talk about some of his hockey abilities as well as how you could perfectly use some of his combos in PvP and avoid partner skills and do a 100% damage combo. There's actually two ways you could do that, guys. This, this man is insane. So we're going to start off by just talking about his skills. And you guys probably already know much of his skills. And mo like his skills are just so broken. Right? We got the first skill. Right? Airstrike. And then we got the sub skill. The teleport. Right? Long press. Bigger airstrike. And then we got that teleporting sub skill. Next, we got the second skill. The second skill is like a really quick dash forward. And then we got that sub skill of that ultra speed slice attacks that we can't see. So, there's another trick to this second skill is that if you double tap, there is a way to give you some range in between the opponent so that you could avoid partner skills. Which is amazing, guys. That is the combo I was going to talk about later on. But now let's just talk about the special. Literally cuts time and space to create a whole dimension, guys. And these are all just their ways of creating different forms of, of advanced Conqueror's Hockey. Like, all of these skills are just a variation of advanced conquerors hockey in my opinion because shanks is just insane with those skills guys right and now we got the extra card this is one of the extra card right really really nice and this one this one gives you extra added damage with that lightning insane stuff here guys right and we also got that peace hockey that i was talking about right if the opponent attacks it's like a counter attack but if the opponent doesn't attack within those three seconds when you enable peace hockey right then it's gonna be a draw right I think that was like four or five seconds around there so if the opponent doesn't attack it's gonna be a draw very interesting situation if the opponent has only one unit and you could literally immobilize let's say for example use Uta Uta's partner skill and immobilize the opponent and then use the extra card then you're able to get that draw in and actually win the game very interesting kind of play here guys so this is actually really broken okay so the next thing i want to talk about is the shank's ability to literally disable projectile hits so if we enable blackbeard's attacks right here we can literally cancel his attacks which is amazing guys and this is from literally any character like let's say if i switch into uh where's ashra's or right here so you could also do it with this extra card just like that just disables everything and we also got Kizaru with this extra card as well. And the first skill is also disables that projectile hit. Right, let me try that one more time. Crazy stuff, guys. And if you guys don't remember, this ability actually comes from Villam Red when Kizaru was about to attack. Shanks literally wiped out all of his projectile hits i think that's why they actually made this type of uh ability this is exactly from the film 
which is amazing. All right, so next thing I want to talk about is the charged state. And as you know, his basic attacks becomes even way better with a lot more range and damage. So let me enable charged state. Check that out, guys. That's crazy. And also, look at the first skill. You could... Let me uncheck that. Oh, wait, wait. Try that again. Charge state. Look at that damage. You could, you could, I think you could do like four hits on that first skill. So another thing is that when you're in charge state, you will deplete this bar. But if you hold on again, you will be out of that charge state. So that's like a convenient way to like um, store that if you want to use it again later on. So now let's talk about some combos. So first off, we already know, a very simple combo to start with is using the first skill, right? This is a way to like basically distract the opponent. Oh, this going this way, he's probably gonna go this way, then you could go for that sub skill. And this sub skill has some really nice, like it stays on for a long time, right? You don't have to like quick it, like click it right away. And look at that range. Insane. Insane, guys. And if you do a long press, you could you, you literally have to chill, bro, until you just connect with the sub skill. Next combo is the second skill, right? And I just mentioned this earlier, right? So if you go for the second skill, come back. But you need to connect so the best way to do that is using this extra card right here so go for the second skill sub skill and then connect with the extra card plus basic hits here guys that's how we do it all right so those are some of the combos and i'll talk about the charge state and this is insane guys when you're in charge state, you're able to get... Look at all these skills. Look at all those airstrikes that you could put out. And then, when you pretty much, if the opponent gets distracted on all those airstrikes, the final hit is that sub skill. That's how you play this combo, bro. It's insane. Like, you could pretty much... Let me try that one more time. So it's charge state. Airstrike, airstrike, airstrike. And then another airstrike for the first skill. And then the sub skill. Bro, you're dishing out so many things. Like, how are you avoiding all of that? This Shanks is on another level. <laughs> oh my god, guys. So those are some of the combos. Right? And now let's talk about a combo that you could do 100% damage all right so there are two ways to do this 100 percent damage thing bro it's actually pretty insane so we're gonna equip the eva skill first eva skill gives you that extra rage we have full rage we have also the burst uh mode we're gonna do that as well so we're gonna go for the burst mode eva skill special special again Second skill, first skill, sub skill, and then alt. That's it. 100%. 100% gone. That's how you do it, guys. That is the 100% lethal combo from Shanks. Now, now. If you don't have the EVA skill, don't worry, bro. There's an, another way. Another way you could do this. So, we have to use the second extra card. And if you guys don't know what the second extra card does, I did talk about this. Check this out. Look at that. 28,000 or something, right? Now let me enable the... Actually, let me go back. 
and enable the this extra card. Look at this damage, guys. Right? More extra damage is nice using this extra card. So, with that being said, let's try doing that combo one more time with this extra card. So, let's start, guys. So, we're gonna go with the extra card. First mode. Special. First skill. Second skill. Charge state. Hey, yo, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. 100% damage. I showed you guys twice the combo. Two times. It's insane, guys. It's insane. This this unit is insane. So, that is Shanks, guys. And I have to say, this Shanks has to be the one one of the best Shanks in One Piece games, guys. Best Shanks. Like he has literally everything to be broken. Right? But you know, there could be units to counter him in PvP, but overall the way they built this shanks in this game has to be the best right it includes like skills from film red where he's uh disables projectile hits right like there's 100 percent combos you could use i already show you guys two of them and the fact that you know his conquer his hockey abilities there's so many different unique ways to create combos bro this man is built different i just love the shanks and one piece fighting path insane what do you guys think i know you guys are having so much fun playing him he's not in ranked pvp i know that because he's he's, he's insta banned, bro i don't know if he's even be playable in esports tournaments that's just that's on another level i don't know but let me know what do you guys think about shanks and see you guys in the next video guys